Hi, this is Peter Winkelstein. I had a question in the comments from someone who seemed to be having trouble with their setup. Uh, and they seemed to have, as near as I could tell from the comment, were having trouble that the sticks didn't do what they expected them to do. And it sounds like in order to control the rudder, they needed to go up and down with the sticks rather than back and forth horizontally. And they weren't sure where the settings were for that. And I wasn't sure what was causing that from the description. Uh, but as I thought about it, I wondered if it was possible that the servos were not correct, connected to the right channel. So I want to talk about that briefly. <clears throat> this is the receiver that comes with your FlySky uh, and is probably installed in your boat. Uh, and as you can see, there, it's a six-channel receiver, so there's six different places you can plug servos in here. And what's important is that the rudder servo goes into channel one, and the sheeting servo goes into channel three. That's essential. If they're not in the right channels, nothing's going to work right. So on the transmitter, going back and forth here, which is usually the rudder, that's channel one. And channel three is up and down on this side. So the first thing to check is to make sure that you've got your stuff plugged in in the right place. As I said, channel one for the rudder servo, channel three for the sheeting servo. Now, let me show you how you uh, might also, if you've got trouble with them going in the wrong direction, so you go left and the boat goes right, uh, or you go, you, you don't have your sheeting servo set up the same way, you can reverse the direction of the sticks on the, by settings on the transmitter. Uh, the first thing that you would need to do, and most of the time if the boats that you buy come ready to race, this has been done for you, is you need to make sure that your receiver has been bound to your transmitter. So let me show you how to let me show you how to do that. So I'm going to show you how to bind your receiver to your transmitter. <clears throat> this probably was already done for you when you got your boat. The boats that come ready to race, this binding was done for you. So you may never have to do it. But if you ever need to change your transmitter or your receiver, then uh, you may have to rebind them. And to do that, you need this thing that came with your boat. You probably didn't know what it was for. It's not mentioned anywhere. This is the binding key. So you take the binding key and you plug it into the very topmost set of plugs here. They're labeled B slash VCC. And you plug that right in. That sets, this, that sets the receiver up for binding. <clears throat> then you connect the receiver to power. Uh, it is, um, uh, you can plug the power into any of these plugs, though I don't recommend plugging it into one or three, because that's, of course, where the servos are going to go that we just talked about. So I'm just going to plug mine into four here. And you can see when you get power to it with the binding key in, this LED flashes rapidly. That means it's ready for binding. So then what you do is you get your transmitter ready, switch is up, stick down. You hold this button right here. This is the binding button. You hold that button down and you turn it on. And you can see it goes through that little thing saying binding okay, and you're done. And so, and now you can see that the LED is solid on. So now this transmitter, this transmitter is bound to that receiver. So make sure that you've got good binding and then make sure that your servos are plugged in the right way, that you've got your servo for the rudder plugged into channel one, and you've got your servo for the sheets plugged into channel three. I'll show you one more thing here. If you find that the, if you find that the uh, uh, direction is wrong, so you, you push the, uh, the rudder stick uh, to the right and the boat goes to the left or vice versa, uh, or you don't have the sheeting going in the direction that you want it to go, usually most people have fully sheeted in down and fully sheeted out up, but some people prefer it the other way. Um, if you find that you're not uh, set up that way, then you can switch the direction of the way the sticks work, and you do that on the settings here, and I'll show you how to do that. So you need to get into the settings menu, so the way you do that is you press the OK button, <coughs> hold it, and then you want to go over to the setup button, click OK, and then you see it says reverse there, click OK, and that's where you can reverse them. So this one says channel one, I have it reversed, so it's correct for this, this uh, receiver and transmitter, but you just click up or down and if it's and to switch it uh, to switch the positions. And when you do that, the, the, the sticks will go in the opposite direction.
<clears throat> you save that, remember, by hitting the cancel button and holding it. I know that's counterintuitive, but that's the way this transmitter works, is that you press and hold the cancel button to memorize the new setting. So press and hold, and then it goes back. Then you can just click cancel to get back to the normal mode. So that's how your servos should be connected. That's how you bind the receiver. And that's how you reverse the channel direction if you feel like you need to do that. I hope that's helpful. Please feel free to ask any other questions. Put them right in the comments. And I always appreciate it when you like and subscribe uh, uh, to uh, my channel. Thank you very much. Bye now.